um, Kiego competition. So we have a bunch of uh, labels, a bunch of sieges from quite a lot of patients. So I already spent uh, yesterday uh, doing this. We have the uh, this little tool that we made where you can select the EEG ID. So some of them are uh, not so great. Some of them are repeats. Uh, this doesn't work for some reason. So in theory we... I mean it does work because we have... Um, yeah, so this will be an example of how not to store your data. I don't know when was this data collected. Must have been some time ago. So we have uh, data from these uh, different electrodes. Yeah, I think it might be a standard montage. And we have the ECG as well. That in most cases doesn't look very good. Like here, for example. Obviously rubbish. Um, yeah, no, no ECG. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you know, if this was a real ECG, this uh, patient might be having other problems other than the EEG recording. And as you can tell, the EEG is not so great either. There's some sort of DC shifts in it, which shouldn't be there. Yeah, a big DC shift here. And bum, 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 bum. so there's a lot of patients, but this data is uh, segmented. It's not continuous data. We don't particularly like segmented data. And uh, yeah, an example of how not to store the data. This would be it. And so what do we have? We have the EG ID. I think there's 50 seconds of recording and then there's a sub ID. So in theory, uh, so this first ID there, it's going up to something like 87 seconds. However, it meant to have this 10 sub IDs in it. So we're still um, uh, figuring out how to display it properly. Yeah, so this is what we have in the training, in the training data. We have a GID, a sub ID. So essentially in each one of those uh, files, you have um, different labels. I mean, in this case, they're all uh, labeled seizure, I think. Yeah, they're all labeled seizure. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And say this next uh, ID okay. has only two sub IDs, zero and one. And this is an interesting bit. So originally it says that for each uh, label, each entry, for each uh, GID, you see duplicates there. So essentially this will be that number 0 0.0 and then same number 0.1. But then the EG label offset in seconds. So the first one is at zero. The second one is at six. So then it's not quite clear. So in theory, the original thing should be, just doesn't sound right. Uh, this uh, label offsets. It's, so for the second label, we have 50. And we have label offset at zero and two. Yeah, really weird. Good example of how not to store data 10, 12. Yeah, this one has a zero and 18. The next one has zero and 28. So in theory, the offset. Let's see again what that offset the time between the beginning of the consolidated EEG the time between the beginning of the consolidated EEG okay so even if I assume they are all 50 seconds the sampling rate is 200 by the way for this data set it doesn't make any sense 2 seconds 52 I mean it does make sense in terms of the 2 seconds there we do have 50 the two problem is that uh, we meant to be having then 102 uh, seconds of data. 
because each entry is 50 seconds there is a essentially two second offset so the length of uh, this recording should have been 100 it's the next one doing triple four at the end so it's triple four how did these numbers don't add up let's check they both labeled as a seizure uh, here you have the agreement on disagreement yeah so those those agreements disagreements are actually quite uh, interesting yeah here you had the essentially 16 experts labeling the data uh, one of them labeled the lpd one other and 14 labeled as lrda the description of what each means lpd is lateralized periodic discharges gpd generalized periodic discharges so that's throughout the brain lateralized will be focal it's called focal seizure so originating in one area of the brain lateralized rhythmic delta activity uh grda generalized rhythmic delta activity and the uh, ava so you had uh, uh, supposedly up to 16 experts labeling this data i don't understand why in this next case only three experts did the labeling in this case there were 13 so is it 12 14 15 yeah it's good to see some disagreement in this case seven labeled as something as seizure and essentially eight labeled as other so the consensus was uh, other and that's uh, what you get for the label and yes when analyzing this data i could uh, uh, give priority so this one will be uncertain because it's like seven to eight whereas in other cases you have a much uh, higher certainty like in here where you have uh, 14 experts labeling um putting a specific label so that's the that uh, we are dealing with uh, we'll just try and sort out the display need to figure out and is there a spectrogram files as well uh, i mean probably could make our own spectrogram but supposedly the spectrograms are a wider time window so there were expert annotators reviewed a 50 second long EEG samples plus match spectrograms covering 10 minute window centered at the same time and labeled the central 10 seconds. Many of these samples overlap and have been consolidated. So this, this is really weird. <laughs> okay. This is another thing of uh, what not to do. So, okay, I think I understand now what's going on. Uh, so, for example, yeah, if you take again, say this example, the reviewers labeled two windows of 50 seconds. One was from yeah, 0 to 50, and the other one was from 28 seconds to 50. Therefore, when you look at the whole thing, you have 78 seconds that does make sense so the the two windows have a, a high overlap almost uh, what is it 70 percent uh, overlap which is a bit odd but okay just have to deal with it yeah so if you go in the uh, for the first eg id we have this uh, 90 seconds of stuff and that's because 50 plus 90 yeah so that's the offset so um, the review has labeled this 10 50 second segments the first one is from 0 to 50 the second one is from 6 to 56 then 8 to 58 so on and so forth and the last one will be 40 to 90 therefore the whole segment is 90 seconds yeah not sure why <laughs> why so many overlaps you could essentially the labels are all the same anyway so that's the other thing yeah I had three reviewers and they all uh, voted seizure 
right so there so the voting seizure and this other a uh, abnormal uh, activity and would the be labeled for normal no so it's a bit odd you do have label for other whatever that means is so so originally obviously yeah it would be better Th this is not working as uh, expected it's just uh, yeah, i don't know why something like that is yeah this was labeled as a seizure a seizure sure that's updating correctly doesn't look like this one is updating correctly we have to fix it yeah this is super weird yeah you would just discard something like that <laughs> yeah that's the i mean you can discard based on ecg so I don't like the ecg electrode is not is sitting well but that will be just an indication that uh, that potentially something else is wrong like in this case a five five three three yeah i have to check the labels that, that thing, are there any cases at all where you have the same EG ID but the labels are different? Don't think so. Yeah, they're always uh, the same labels anyway. It's kind of silly that way. Yeah, it looks like the extra uh, stuff there is just, uh, is just like fudging, you know, creating more data essentially fake because it's hard to explain just a hunch but um, not just a hunch but uh, yeah we can explain it based on the fact that yes yeah, so for, for example yeah they just copy paste of one another they all have the same scores they all were scored R L R D A is it lateral uh, rhythmic uh, discharges a uh, this patient will have um 260 so we expect 260 seconds in this uh, data it's essentially doesn't matter how long the that the segment is they were all uh, labeled the same just go somewhere into the middle of yeah, you can tell yeah this will have the same exactly the same label same scoring this three this one has a lot Okay, this is interesting. So no, the scoring was uh, different. So there essentially was a. So how many experts looked at this uh, segment? Is it three or five? Because essentially, this one was uh, labeled by three experts as seizure. It was eventually labeled as seizure. But interestingly enough, this three in the middle was all, 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 also labeled by essentially another two experts that said that one said other and one said something else so no decision but why all five didn't label the whole lot yeah which is weird and it's also suspicious that that in this case for example you had 13 so 13 experts we do find 13 experts a label just this one segment alone the second one was also labeled by 13 there was a bit more of a disagreement between them yeah this is an interesting one yeah it was eventually labeled a seizure because there was seven experts labeling it a seizure but six uh, labeled it as something else um yeah so even if you take this one as seizure that is essentially it's probably not uh, clear not clear cut anyway we want to display all this stuff in our tool and then do more processing so we're doing uh, spectrograms and other things eventually we'll be training a fuzzy logic to try and do the, um, the detection the classification yeah, you shouldn't see uh, things like this. probably some sort of uh, motion uh, artifact. Yeah, I can bet the ECG would not be there as well. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be inclined on a lot of um, comparisons, but I will be doing a uh, quite a bit of filtering. I'll be inclined to discard things like that. It's obviously 
there is something very wrong. Yeah, that looks like a seizure. So the spiking. It's an interesting one. Yeah, we'll have a better tool to review the stuff. Yeah, I want to pull out, for example, a seizure that had a very high agreement and a large number of uh, experts. So we want to like put, do a priority. So those will be like the parameters. Uh, there will be some sort of agreement score. There's actually a kappa. What's it? Kappa score? Yeah, I have to look it up. Uh, maybe do that, but essentially should tell you something about the agreement between the agreement level between experts, and and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, this one was only labeled by one uh, expert. It's a bit odd. Okay, so what shall we do next? We have this code we're loading data. We have the data downloaded uh, already. This one's actually a good example for what is uh, more likely to be a seizure. There's still no ECG in it. Yeah, there seems to be spiking on all channels. You can even tell. Uh, yeah, and it's more pronounced on some channels than others. Uh, there's just the baseline noise is uh, smaller. On uh, Is it on one side of the head? So those will be left... Um, hey, was it even numbers will be left side, uh, odd numbers will be right or the other way around it doesn't really matter yeah so you, you have the seizure potentially on both hemispheres that's why they label the seizure i don't know why the other labels are the other labels not a seizure i have to check anyway we have the, this now uh, working as a flask application uh, i mean if it's doing something useful and you want to access it, we can uh, make it available eventually on uh, bionicchaos.com. If you haven't checked bionicchaos.com, go check it out. Uh, sometimes you even get uh, relevant ads for you. And uh, we will add this uh, data set uh, as other examples. The license permits us uh, using it for educational purposes. Yeah, it's uh, attribution non-commercial a uh, creative commons for a 26.5 uh, gigabyte uh, that's a zip file once you uh, open it it's obviously larger than exactly how large but still <laughs> still 26.4 so the zipping it didn't help much did it it's uh, mainly the data is uh, parquet parquet i don't know how to pronounce it files so we're opening those uh, python can do it fairly easily yeah i like that example because it's obviously it uh, looks more like a seizure there's 124 seconds of it the other problem is that there is no uh, onset uh, yeah that's why we like uh, we prefer continuous uh, time series data not uh, chopped up segments uh, because you can see the evolution of the seizure and what's happening before and after is uh, very important yeah so we won't be displaying um, all the channels and just uh, use the drop down window we will however try and sort uh, the sub id and the label offset and so we'll be displaying only 50 seconds and then you can select uh, for each id we'll have another drop down of uh, the sub id and we use the offset in seconds to to move it along so now i understand the uh, what it's uh, doing uh, so i'm not sure github copilot will be able to sort this for us uh, because it doesn't have all the context i mean we have the fi text file with the data structure how the files are loaded yes yeah, so sub id sub id let's see let's pop that in is currently not displaying correctly also ideally the the idea was that you select 
uh, based on uh, expert consensus, uh, based on the label instead of the GID. Currently select based on the uh, GID instead. And that looks a lot like baseline EG. I have to make sure the expert consensus uh, will place it below. Yeah, we'll do uh, this quickly. And to make sure it's actually yeah there's some artifact there now one of those that will be ignored i wonder how they were presented to the expert uh, what well, they filtered out somehow this uh, looks like uh, looks more like eg yeah so the offset label eventually if it's uh, actually working we don't have to display it and see yeah, I'm doing a lot of debugging at the moment. That's okay. Okay, so the data for sub ID. Yeah, we have the offset. Okay, so we don't need that. Yeah, we do need this. And the problem is that it's not being shown correctly. EG sub ID and uh, label offset in seconds are uh, empty on the front end yes yeah, so they're not being populated have this populate drop down function i think it's too generic for our liking so we will have to it's trying to cover all the different cases at the moment it's an async function which is good okay sub id offset six so that's working well it's really really good let's just double check yes we have the eg id and uh, we have this uh, 50 second uh, eg uh, labels and uh, say for the sub label of eight the offsets offset in seconds is 40 so we should be always plotting 50 seconds and using the offset and this so the label offset is empty how to fix the code so it's actually populated the uh, yeah hopefully it understands the context so update label offset display should accept data is the input that helps doesn't it so let's do that that can go for sure okay and it's not updating need to make sure that the input um, is being used everywhere it is okay it's working no one's showing current sub id yeah we need to fix this bit we did understand what the problem is <laughs> at that level of the display function is being called before the drop down value is updated okay does seem important get element by d correct yeah probably don't need all that um, output at the moment and so that's better it's cleaner okay so we have the subject id uh, sorry this is not the subject id those look like seizures or oh, yeah looks like something so we need to make sure a couple things uh, first okay there's an obvious uh, problem here first of all i don't know why the label offset uh, also has current sub id instead of just having the number of seconds in it and also so it seemed to display it correctly the first time around but it's not updating when a different eg sub id have been chosen yeah i think we are in business okay so when loading it's just uh, selecting the first eg id a sub, sub id of zero offset of zero we would like when uh, loading it will select a default eg id and show the whole number of uh, seconds all the data points in it and only when selecting a specific eg sub id it will uh, focus 
only when selecting a specific EG sub ID and the chart will focus on uh, 50 will zoom in on to 50 seconds with the select that offset plate understands what I mean probably not okay let's see to implement this feature we need to modify fetch and update chart I also don't understand why do we have a two function fetch and update chart and then we also have update I'm pretty sure we have update chart as well we'll sort it out later don't worry about it um, so it's checking if drop down is populated if so right we do need all this the complete function now it has this rest of the code <laughs> yeah multiplying uh, by um, the sampling rate just 200 why is it ah, okay yeah everything needs to be multiplied by the sampling rate because this value is in seconds and once we multiply by sampling rate it will become the number of data points yeah we have a fetch and update chart and then we have update chart it's a bit odd yeah this is where we divide by a the sampling rate which is a fixed the a constant of 200 normally if we say fix it will ask what do you want to be fixed if you maybe say fix and update a combine yeah we essentially need to check to for it to regenerate the whole function that's what we need okay we have offset default value of zero that's fine index sr looking good okay so <laughs> what is the zero there Okay, something stopped working. Let's be errors. No, there are no errors. Why? Something is up. No, that is uh, that error is okay. Was the HD the JavaScript changed the correctly or not? Kill it for a sec. Uh, selecting a different EG ID stopped working. It's not updating the chart anymore. How is it missing? Sub ID event listener changes there. Function. Yeah, change. Yeah, it's just working. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> the beauty of uh, Copile. Uh, to know how it happened. Does that bit, well, working again? And then if we select, yeah, so for example, for this EG ID, we have um, sub ID 1. A0 and 1, A0 it's offset 0, 1 is at offset 18, and in theory when we select that we should just display a 50 seconds, a 50 seconds of the actual segment. How do we do that? Do we actually need it? <laughs> when something becomes uh, difficult, you just ask yourself, do, do we really need it? Maybe we can move on. No, we do need it because those are the labels. The labels are only for 50 seconds. Sure, we had the 50 a fetch and update chart. Yeah, we do have it in the code, but it's not. So in theory, when fetch and update chart, um, let's do console log there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that might be the problem. Yeah, might not meet that line anymore. Yeah, the label offset is not required. Label offset ID. Yeah, we're already displaying it uh, in the sub ID. Yeah, this offset should be taken. Oh, come on. The offset is already being. Uh, the offset seconds is already being displayed in the EG sub ID so I removed it from uh, HTML 
and we would like to use it for the offset start index end index calculation not use the offset from this up drop dropdown yep that's right that's wrong isn't it uh, how do we do that why does not say horizontal scroll it's a bit odd we're not passing uh, data properly those not links <laughs> it's great it's great because uh, when you just start using it they they are you haven't made any changes by the way if you haven't checked the uh, bionicchaos.com please go do so there's a lot of uh, interesting tools surely you will find uh, something useful there and when you do don't forget to provide your feedback so just an overview we're still trying to display properly this uh, it's at harvard medical school harmful brain activity classification data set yeah particularly focused on the the data bit of the code we want to initially to review the data properly so we're making this tool we can um a ideal eventually is like scroll a uh, quickly from the through the data to get a better better understanding of what the data set uh, is all about yes it's working again we should have like some sort of unit test to uh, to see if it's working correctly and yeah, we expect so what do we expect this doesn't work no we don't need an extra function that's for sure but it's not an extra function we actually have it so why it can't just regenerate the whole thing considering okay so each is sub id so when we change that nothing happens and selecting a different value from the drop down and when changing the electrode name we get the following error and we selected the whole uh, javascript code because it's obviously problem with javascript there's no errors in uh, the back end getting data is not a rate that data is i mean that's how the back end is accessing the data yeah the data could probably be simplified is that a seizure there it looks like already happened yeah, it's working again seems like we have a seizure on that uh, Okay, now uh, changing the electrode uh, from the drop down works well, but uh, when selecting a different EEG sub ID, uh, nothing happens. Pretty sure we have it ready. I'm just updating the value. This one still works. Okay, this one does something. Yeah, they both seem to work but one is not giving an error so i don't know what's up with that hey can we check what happens when we select a different eg sub id uh, when do we actually plot the 50 second time window instead of the whole a uh, window hopefully it understands the context context shall we do an overview with uh, gpt4 so currently we have this display you can select your eg id this one looks like it's having seizures and something ah can we make sure yeah we also need to make sure when we select different id that the expert consensus is updated actually it should be expectation id being updated no yeah you get a lot of noisy stuff oh it just had a one noisy channel yeah it has some uh, probably muscle probably emg in there we have to look at its uh, frequency component it should have a higher frequency component so that what we will do uh, later not sure if today or not see how the gpt gods are behaving or not they're actually behaving well we will be making much quicker progress yes it did understand even though there was a 
a misspelling in the voice to text transcription still understand understood the context the selecting a uh, mainly working in javascript at the moment the code is being fetched the uh, okay this is the 50 seconds time when i can check what happens when you select different eeg sub id when do we actually plot the 50 second time window instead of the whole uh, window yeah it's not it's not very clear let's see if it understands the context by the way that label we will just um, yeah we have to modify it i would change it into a display instead of a input just do it as an uh, output when you select a specific uh, a 50 second label it will just show you what the label is oh very bad <laughs> there's something in the ecg yeah obviously something like that can be just uh, uh, ignored outright it's going plus minus 2000 as well get rid of it then why it became slower yeah yeah you can tell there's a lot of problems with the data set yeah a lot of baseline uh, drifts uh on what it is just better bad recording surprisingly ecg is good it's actually there and looks legit but what on earth is going on the eeg <laughs> you get the square waves <laughs> this is obviously uh, not what the brain is producing you only have one id so this will be 50 seconds that's correct so at least it makes sense in terms of the timing of it a filtering i'm thinking so you don't want to try and filter something like that i mean you want to just get rid of it uh, this is just uh, real bad so my became much uh, slower would mean there's some sort of memory a memory leak which would be highly uh, would be real bad if there is stopped for a sec yes yeah, so we expect this fetch yeah why are the start and end on nans that's not cool uh, surely we should just understand the context yeah not the number issue the calculation of the start and end it's the same function calculate the start and end indices based on the offset and the sampling rate so this calculation there why is this not being used troubleshoot this function be sure it should be accessed somewhere be sure it is needed is it needed it's really weird unlock the data need to figure out why yeah let's lock this to okay set is that okay no that is undefined what how is it not giving an error an error if that uh, why is it refusing to write code i just doesn't want to anyway the data is undefined which is not cool and the current problem is that when we select a sub id eg the offset seem to only change the x axis label but uh, not actually move the data not actually uh, fetch a new data of uh, only 50 seconds can we we need to test uh, that i just realized that potentially it does work okay uh, here's a a few print screens to show you what the front panel looks like so the first image has a sub id zero with offset zero and the second image has a sub id one with a offset of 28 yeah some of the files the eg files they might get 
the the whole tool uh, freezing up it's probably because of some NANDs uh, coming through uh, from the server and the front end doesn't know how to deal with it and now it's it did unfreeze yeah that's becoming uh, quite slow it is a violation it's taking too long don't like violations do we so that's some sort of charts uh, chart js issue yeah it's doing something it's not cool shall we kill the browser it's funny how ubuntu works when uh, when something like this happens i still have control over the machine but for some reason the mouse doesn't work so obviously i'm still uh, streaming and everything everything works but the mouse no now it's now it's back i might stop it from there yeah it's the browser yeah the browser had uh, 350 megabytes uh, loaded in it so that's obviously not ideal yeah now my CPU back. Um, yeah, so how do we go about it? It's loading okay on the power up. Let's keep this thing. There might be some uh, memory leakage. It's using uh, 106 megabytes. Let's start monitoring the uh, resources as well. And yeah, that's the Chrome with the 200 uh, megabytes. That must be it. Yeah, I mean, the Kegel competition website is taking uh, a 100 megabytes, I don't know why. Yeah, 200 megabytes, what? We're trying to replicate that error. It's not an error, it's just when uh, there's like, seem to be too much data and that the uh, browser is freezing. Yeah, that looks more like EEG. Hopefully we can start moving forward with this tool to replicate yeah and now it's becoming less and less uh, responsive so the other thing so on Bionic Chaos you have uh, some tools for reviewing EEG uh, some of them have an option to so this one I'd like to improve on it so I might uh, do this anyway this is 16 channel implantable electrode um, and this is uh, Plotly not the uh, charts JS so it has uh, more control and everything but a lot of this control sorry for the ads hopefully if you are visiting the website you actually get some more relevant ads yeah so this one lets you group the, the channels by left and right uh, in this case will be uh, the odd and even uh, numbers there so this could be nice you have an option to overlay them all and select the actual window so we won't need it for this because we always uh, uh, we always showing 50 seconds uh, window uh, that's how the data was labeled it's just becoming unresponsive and i don't know why it's so normally when you go to the bottom of this uh, egid scroller thing yeah, the offset is only two seconds in this case. I don't know why. It's so that the data is fine in this way. It's this um, Harvard Medical School, so they must have done it correctly because it's Harvard, of course. Uh, but it's just yeah, the data is a bit uh, odd. Um, yeah, already went over a few reasons. Can have some more. Uh, actually, we're not displaying everything in here. I don't know if we should be making this tool more and more complicated or just uh, start a new one probably start a new one we'll have more options there's a couple of uh, obvious things we need to make sure the patient id is being uh, actually updated if they have a workspace handle and it's searching uh, um, everything just try and just give it the name see if it can explain the context of it it's nice that it's giving a uh, uh, links that actually work this one is not a link i don't know why a uh, get patient id uh, so those are the unique uh, 
IDs. So instead of giving us unique IDs, yeah, originally the idea was that you could filter the data based on uh, all the different uh, uh, parameters. Still GPT for a sec. Okay, so looking at the code and its specific advice, uh, looking specifically at this file, the train CSV, the different column labels, are we actually using them all? Well, the answer is no, but um, the original idea for the data viewer was to filter based on patient ID or the expert consensus label type but that uh, doesn't seem to currently work can you try and explain a uh, look at the code provided above all of it um keep it light yep ba -ba -ba. yes so the patient id is not currently being updated so when you select uh, for example eeg id is the patient ID being updated to show what is the patient ID for blah blah blah? Doesn't it sense the message without me finishing? So no, the ID and patient ID are different. Well, yeah, no, they're different. In the fetch ID function, the EG ID is used to fetch EG. In the patient ID is used. Okay, I was actually asking uh, if one is updating the other i'm asking if one is updating the other text to speech is hopeless am i using the correct microphone yeah hopefully we can uh, modify this code yes yeah, so far it's only the egid that is uh, updating the data and even that uh, is a bit slow especially when you go to the bottom of the list yeah, they have those examples far, so ideally we will uh, plot the spectrogram as well on the same page. So I have this example figures, and let's see if you, as you can tell, so this is zero time, minus five and five, CG is good. Does it seem to correspond to one another? And why those are PDFs as well? And the question, all right, I get it. This is the left lat lateral, right lateral, uh, left uh, posterior, right posterior. I want to reproduce those myself. <laughs> the, they don't seem to correspond to one another. There seems to be something happening there on, uh, yeah, you don't see it here. Right, so say this example. Yeah, what's up? So there's obviously, yeah, why don't you see it on the, on the plot? This 10 second, the EG is 50 seconds. I just don't trust that those actually coming from, uh, from the same EG. And obviously that's some sort of averaging of uh, different channels. Yeah, I don't like them at all. Some, some sort of artifact yeah the ECG is a mess there's essentially no ECG therefore yeah can uh, probably tell that that's some sort of noise yeah that, that ECG is weird as well we have an ECG there some uh, slow low frequency components in the spectrograms yeah, I want to do the spectrograms myself. We, we have done this before. Uh, we have a tool for it. Yeah, this is also not the best spectrogram, but you want to see things like this. You want to do like a sanity check with your spectrograms to see when the seizures end. Uh, this should end. You don't see that in there. Uh, there's no nothing obviously a uh, corresponds. There's something happening, something different there in the middle some sort of noise a low frequency component but it's not in the time series it's not in the time domain that's why i don't necessarily trust it yeah you want to see them uh, one 
above the ava so this uh, components there i can actually see that something is uh, corresponding to one another and here for example we will expect a large uh, low frequency component there don't see it well this is during a seizure so yeah, you kind of see it here but yeah you want to see something that corresponds to your signal a for sanity check yeah like this one for example when you see a, a low a spike like that which is uh, some probably some sort of noise not sure uh, but you want in the spectrum to see a corresponding uh, thingy as happening at the same time it's kind of important so I, and i don't see it uh, happening there first the scale is different Let's open another one. No, you see, it's rubbish. Uh, so it's supposedly the scale is the same. You have uh, zero time minus five plus five, whatever. It's a bit odd. But then you have this uh, low frequency component at the end here, but you don't see it in the time series. So it's either being heavily filtered, and, but then why is this not showing the filtered data? Or there is something wrong. More likely, there is something wrong. Yeah, the time series is essentially not telling you what's happening in the in the frequency domain or the other way around. Yeah, here we have a good ECG. Yeah, this one is more like it. No, but then you see you have a spike and a dip there a before zero time, which is you would think it's that one. But then you have one after zero time as well which is not on the time series yeah let's read the description again right so the spectrum comes out the minutes okay it says seven seizure six lpd 15 lpd <laughs> others one two three four five six seven eight um 20 seizure okay so, <laughs> so obviously there's no 20 seizures there that's uh, one just one there's like 20 so that's 20 labels okay yeah i'm just not convinced of this data set right so the column names indicate the frequency in hertz and the recording regions of the g electrodes the letter of the abbreviated ll uh, yeah left lateral right lateral a left parasagittal and right parasagittal so essentially left front side uh, left back side yeah we have to bring up a uh, EG montage national league against epilepsy yes we have a montage like that so so this one will be fp minus f7 f73 so it's a T3, T5, T501, FP2. So by the way, we uh, we don't necessarily have to do it. Those are uh, th those being digitally uh, subtracted from one another. Just uh, look at the actual recording. Yeah, I never understood why why do we need to actually do that. I mean, you do that to reduce the number displayed, but then you actually don't. Yeah, because you essentially can display just four things, uh, four sides of the brain. But that's, uh, you know, you, if you're doing big data, whatever analysis, it's not, uh, it's not necessary. The thing about the patients, ideally we'll have some sort of patient description. The patients will have different type of seizures and they will be originated from different types of the brain so you would you would need the description for each patient where the seizures are coming from that could be useful yeah anyway so first i don't necessarily trust those spectrograms might try and recreate the mass cells i don't think we care yeah i don't see those bits in the data do we have the 10 minute recordings no uh, no we don't uh, we'll have to look at the uh, spectrum files we would not be able to generate them 
aus, äh, aus yes, the expert a labeled 7LDP 7LRDA from this uh, 10 minutes it's quite an achievement so we won't be able to display it like this because the original data is only 60 seconds it's much uh, shorter yeah just the problem yeah the data is not very transparent so I understand they have more that they once you submit your algorithm they test it on a hidden non-public uh, set as well but then even with the data that is provided definitely more be done yeah the other problem is that even if we uh, display the spectrogram here it will not be in the same format uh, in terms of the time window so this uh, will remain uh, 70 seconds the spectrogram will be 10 minutes let's see things that look more like seizures and yeah. it's not again a I, I don't believe that's the spectrogram for this thing there's something wrong there is something wrong so this essentially means that one of those should have this a lot of uh, on the left left side should have a lot of slow wave uh, activity and just do not see it I yeah, do want to be able to switch between uh, uh, this montage and how it actually was recorded you essentially have this bit and that bit some sort of weird convention don't really uh, need to do it then you have this bit have that bit and then the bit in the middle but because it was done like that for many years you don't have to do it in the same way and yes you have all then even depending on the side the ones in the middle can uh, most of the time just discard it should be telling you something about the interaction between the left and right hemisphere but again this is harvard medical school so it must be correct the thing about this data set is that the experts were presented with 50 second uh, time windows that are essentially identical uh, so in this case uh, um, yeah the windows are 50 seconds but the offset essentially means that they always uh, overlapping so essentially the same I think that's probably how the data was extracted like how the labels were extracted from the original labeling because normally so they essentially labeled the uh, in this case uh, m64 seconds with a seizure and for whatever reason there were four or five labels extracted out a uh, five 50 second labels extracted out of this uh, 64 seconds of seizure which is a bit odd but can't change the data set yeah it looks like some spikes in there the spikes are on some channels not others this one's really odd yeah ecg is bad the ACG electrode could have been, you know, just coming off. Ideally, we'll have um, with this data. We'll also have impedance uh, measurements. Uh, they normally help you clean up the data. There's obviously was some data in there that has a lot of uh, noise, and that's probably suggest not this type of noise. This type of noise probably suggests that something else is wrong. I bet the ECG for this is also not. Oh no, I was wrong. The ECG is there. Looks good some dc offset but it's okay but come on the data uh, yeah something is up something is wrong yeah i need to make sure seizure is actually updated correctly i'm not fast with actually winning it's just for learning so don't worry about the you know what your i don't even normally look at the leaderboard you know yeah if you manage somehow to get up there it's a bonus otherwise you learned a lot 
and yeah go check out by kiosk.com there's a lot of relevant tools about the ecg eg processing in this case eg and i'll see you next time bye